Hey, it's Kyle from Servo City. Today I want to talk to you about our hub adapters for the pneumatic tires. I have two different assemblies on the table today. Um, both are actually very similar. They use the same hub adapter, but they have a different size of shaft coming out of them, and therefore they use a different hub assembly um, attached to the hub adapter. So starting off, um, I have the pneumatic tire um, held in place with the hub adapter, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull this apart. Um, I put a half inch tube clamp hub on the back side of the hub adapter and you don't have to use a half inch. Uh, we have clamping hubs and tube clamp hubs from eighth inch all the way up to half inch, um, also three mil up to 12 mil, and then we have some custom sizes uh, for different shapes like we have a hex clamping hub, uh, we have D-bore clamping hubs for D-shafts, so we've got a large variety that's going to be able to, to bolt onto the backside of this hub adapter. Uh, now to put it on the hub adapter, I went ahead and grabbed some 632 socket head screws uh, that you really can't see the heads in because on this part we've counterboard um, the holes in order for those heads to fit down flush uh, or below flush in this case so that this hub adapter will fit nicely inside of the wheel. Now on the wheel you're going to notice this star pattern uh, that's molded into it. So you've got these cogs out here and we've perfectly mated that to the aluminum part that we machined out. That way when these two parts go together uh, when the hub adapter rotates it's going to rotate this wheel. There's no way for it to slip inside uh, or, or spin out or anything like that. Um, now in order to fix this on there, once it goes in place, we have the center of that hub adapter tapped to a half 13. So we include a half 13 by two and a quarter bolt. It's going to run through the center of the wheel assembly and basically lock everything in place. Um, you'll also notice that we have two washers. Uh, one is the zinc plated washer. The second one is going to be an ABS washer. Um, those are both necessary in order to bring the, the hex out flush with the outside and put pressure on the inside of the wheel to squeeze it all together. Uh, so that way you can get on it nicely with a, a wrench or a socket or whatever you want to tighten that up with. Now on the back side of this assembly You'll notice I have the half inch shaft protruding out of the half inch tube clamp hub. Um, I went ahead and put a half inch spacer on there as well to run up against the tube clamp hub and contact the inner race of the bearing. So uh, you could just slide this on, you know, this could be part of your chassis and that wheel is going to rotate nicely um, when you put everything together. Now there are a lot of different ways to run bearings and channel. I actually covered that in a series of videos so make sure to watch the uh, how to mount bearings in channel videos as well. On the other assembly I have it's actually a very similar setup but the first thing you're going to notice is it's got the one inch tube coming out of it instead of a smaller shaft. Um, now because it's running a one inch tube coming out we've got to run a larger hub. The hub that was used on this assembly has the 1.5 inch hub pattern. That hub pattern in this case is tapped to quarter 20 so it has some massive screws going in there to hold all this together for a nice solid structure. Let me go ahead and take the bolt out that's holding the hub adapter to the wheel. We can pull the wheel off and take a look. Okay, now uh, if you can see in here, uh, there are four counterboard holes on the outside of the part as well, um, kind of intersecting that star pattern that we talked about on the inside of the wheel. For this assembly to work, you need to use the quarter 20 low head socket head bolts. Uh, that way they're down below the surface and they don't interfere with the wheel when you put it together. Um, so those just screw right into the uh, large one inch clamping hub with the quarter 20 tapped holes. The rest of this assembly is basically the same as what I already covered on the version that has the half inch shaft. So that's kind of the how you would use the part. Um, now we'll get into why you would use this part. Uh, like I said, this is primarily going to be used for a live axle assembly to where the axle and wheel and tire assembly are going to rotate in unison with one another. So they're locked together. 
Now you could build a, a chassis or a cart to where one wheel is driven. Uh, so you could put a, a sprocket in between the hub adapter and the hub and squeeze that together using the low head bolts like I talked about and uh, put a motor on that to drive the, uh, the chain and sprocket assembly to where this is your driving wheel and then you could have a uh, just a, a free rotating wheel over here or you could go ahead and lock those together run a longer axle uh, run a second assembly just like this and uh, and basically have a locker in this case to where they rotate uh, all as one if you find that it would be easier to have a fixed axle somewhere on your chassis with a free rotating tire and wheel you might consider our other wheel adapter which i cover in a separate video Thanks for watching, and if you guys have any questions, be sure to email tech at servocity.com.